Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to Velox 18. We're over here in West Virginia and we got to get up into Pennsylvania. We got about two and a half hours to go and uh, we got about two hours to get there. Well, two and a half hours to get there, whatever. We're running close to our time today, all right? We're running close. But uh, yeah, so we gotta hit the road. It's uh, it's two in the morning. Well, now it's a little after two, but uh, I added some fuel in, and uh, man, we just gotta hit the road because we got a 5 a.m. appointment, like I said, and and uh, gotta go. Uh, it's gonna be about a two and a half hour drive, so we gotta go. Let's go. Roll the music. Cost me, and it actually is going to cost me more than what the fuel would cost me to go around. 
it's going to be over $30 to run the turnpike, uh, the, the distance that I'm going to be taking it, but it saves me over 20 minutes, and uh, basically, instead of getting there right at 5 a.m., I'm going to get there, you know, at like 4.40, uh, and with the hills and stuff we're going through, it'll probably... I probably need that 20 minute buffer. I mean, I mean, I get there till the quarter till or something like that. So, uh, so I'm not, uh, I'm not going to risk going around and, uh, and being late. Uh, we're going to a U.S. Foods facility. So typically these places don't like you to be late. Uh, I've never been to this one. I haven't been to too many U.S. foods, but so I don't know like if they have like a like a reputation as a whole to like be sticklers on the appointments. I just know a lot of the food distribution places they're they're pretty pretty strict on their appointment times and stuff. So I figure I'll pay the toll. It it, it almost equals out to how much fuel I'd be spending to go the long way anyway. So pretty close to even on the. Uh, on the cost of it and I can save 20 minutes anyway uh, should be up into Pennsylvania shortly here uh, we're right on the border so that's the, the next thing that happens is we cross into Pennsylvania and then we'll uh, we'll be uh, shoot yeah we'll be we'll be there in about an hour I think it's about a quarter to four now. Yeah, it's a little less than an hour. We'll be there. So anyway, keep on trucking. Uh, Got to keep your eyes peeled for uh, deer. I've seen a lot of big deer uh, killed on the road uh, this week, this week and last week. So uh, up here in the mountains and stuff, the deer grow a little bigger. It seems like. <laughs> And uh, running this time of night, there's a higher chance that uh, they're not paying attention to you, you coming down the road, you know, jump out in front of you. So, uh, yeah, keep my eyes peeled and keep on trucking. All right, we just checked in. Uh, we had to go check in at a little, a little area right there uh, across the street. You, you got a park over here and um, well we had to we had to kind of make our own parking spot because it was uh, it was full because they open at 5 a.m. so I got here at 450 and I was at the back of the line <laughs> all these guys knew what was up they got here earlier so uh, I might be blocking things up a little bit but I'm gonna try to try to get out of the way as best I can uh, there was a truck next to that red truck so I think that's where I might back in uh, unless this guy is gonna take that spot kind of just depends but I'll try and get out of the way a little better than I am now all right we found a spot down here in this lower lot it says no outside carriers are supposed to be on here but there's literally nowhere else to park, and so they told us go ahead and go down here. So, um, but they gave us a door. It's now 6:30, so it took them an hour and a half to give me a door. And uh, the door is uh, door dock uh, dock 23. So I need to come out of here and. about uh, where dot 23 is see where this guy is at is where I was at but I was facing the other way and it makes it a little bit tougher for guys to get around this corner and there was one more truck there on the end so it wasn't the best place to be so Let's see, dock 23 to the right. Let's 
see if I can make this U-turn. It says, do not enter without door assignment. And then these guys just come over here and park in the driveway. how I was I guess there's just not a lot of places to be so they're more out of the way than I was originally so let's see where we're at we need 23 we're right here on the end great I don't like being on the end the guys are gonna come around and freaking get up close to my, uh, my truck. Messed me up on, the, on back in here because he would have to park and use the restroom. He parked right where I needed to be, but now we're okay. Alright, I need to open up my doors, but I kind of want to just let this guy go around me real quick. Let him go around me and then pull back forward and go open up the doors. My lines are crooked, man. There's, I got such a weird, I don't get it. Anyway, I'm gonna go open up the doors. <laughs> paperwork and we are on our way uh, we got to kind of hustle a little bit we got to make it over to our pickup about an hour away um, and uh, they have a loading window between 7 a.m. and noon so we gotta go all right we are rolling uh, over here I don't know I'm just I think, I think I already switched into a different town than Greensburg, Pennsylvania, but basically I'm in like the greater Pittsburgh area. So uh, not my favorite place to be. And now we're gonna get even closer to Pittsburgh. We're gonna move down uh, over into um, more like the Pittsburgh metro area pretty quick here. And uh, well, I'll just say this. It's, it's it's a uh, 30 miles 30 miles away and it, my GPS says it's gonna take me an hour and 15 minutes. So, um, like I said, not my favorite place to drive and, and navigate around, but you know, uh, it was the shortest deadhead to grab a load out of Pennsylvania and to get uh, get over 
um, to another area. So, um, what I'm actually going to do is when I get over here to uh, where am I going to go to? Uh, when I get over here to uh, the shipper, I'm going to kind of do my paperwork and stuff from this previous load. Um, normally I'd like to get it done before I leave there, but I got to get over to this next pickup. So uh, when I do all of that, I'm actually going to do a little bit of a breakdown, basically a weekly recap uh, of my miles and monies for the for the last week, even though you know I left out on, on November 1st and then I went home for the weekend. So it's not like I was out for seven days or eight days. This So today's the eighth day, right? Uh, last Tuesday to this Tuesday. Uh, but so I was home for those, you know, for that basically two days, Friday night to Sunday afternoon. So uh, because of that, I'm, uh, you know, I'm gonna just break down like, like as if it was just like a, a normal week and break down the, the whole, uh, the whole thing, where we went, how many miles we did, how much money we, we made, and then uh, and then from this point on will be a new week. That way uh, I can kind of make sense of all the miles I've been doing and hopefully kind of show you guys the, uh, the thinking I had, the plan I had when I decided to take this load that brought me up here to Pennsylvania. Uh, it was all kind of in a in a line of thinking. So I'll explain myself a little bit once we get over there. But uh, shoot, let's just let's just get over there and um, yeah, I'm I'm taking actually the quicker route too because I'm gonna head up here to um, the Penna Turnpike, uh, Highway 76. So I'm gonna spend money again to get up here to this pickup just to make sure I get there. Um, now, if I get there at 11, I'll be happy. If I'm if I'm driving around, uh, I, I just I learned last time I need to give myself more time than I think I need when I'm driving around Pittsburgh. That's just that's just the way it is. So uh, anyway, yeah, should be over there with plenty of time, but should shoulda coulda woulda, you know, shoulda coulda woulda. Anyway, I'll catch up with you guys down the road. Alright, we uh, got here pretty quick, um, but that road was treacherous. I don't know if you guys could tell on the fast motion driving, but that was not a good truck route. It was marked as a truck route, didn't say no trucks, but it was like hairpin turns, super, super steep uh, hills, stoplights on the steep hills. It was, it was bad. So I'm going to, um, clean out my, my, uh, trailer right now. I got some wood chips in there. They did one of their exploding pallet tricks. It's a cap capstone specialty, but, uh, so I got some wood chips to, uh, put out here. You know, it's like landscaping. Put some wood chips out here. Just make sure I don't have any nails in it. Don't want to pop any tires. That'd be lame. That'd be lame. All right. Well, this is hard to do one-handed. See, I'm using my chest to try and pin that door back. Anyway, all right. Let me uh, let me get this done, and then um, yeah, then we'll go get checked in over here. It's like 11 o'clock, uh, a little before 11, so we're good. All right. We. Uh, Went over there, just said, hey, I'm here to pick up a load. And I was like, let me get the pickup number for you. She goes, well, where are you going? I said, Illinois, Bartlett, Illinois. She goes, back into Dock 10. We'll have them load you right now. All right, cool. Didn't even need a number. 
didn't even need a number. I could have been anybody. Uh, it was kind of funny though. The uh, the window is like is like set down really really short. So um, I just got down on my knee, <laughs> and she got a good laugh out of it. But I, I thought I'm like this is this is like the shortest little window for the shortest little people. I've ever seen. All right, let's get in that dock. It's just that dock right over yonder. Dock four. Let's get it in there. All right, we got loaded up quick. It's uh, 11.30 and we are on our way out. Um, it's a decent little load, 41,000 pounds. So, uh, we got to get up here and uh, get out of Pittsburgh now. My, my least favorite thing to do. But, um, let me, uh, yeah, let's, I'll just get on down the road and I'll catch up with you guys when we get where we're going. How about that? How about that? time of night where the uh, sunset's starting to look cool starting to look cool but uh 
I like this uh, this truck stop over here, the Mr. Fuel truck stop in Spiceland. I think um, I think it. Uh, I don't know. Just something about it. Something about it. There's a long line of cars coming from my left, so I'm just gonna hang out and wait. Hang out and wait. There's also a Flying J here. Um, which I've never stayed at because I don't know. I like the Mr. Fuel because it's smaller, quick walk to the to the restrooms and the showers. And uh, it's still in the pilot network. So it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of the places I like to stop, man. 575. That Flying J. Wow. 575. That's crazy. That's why I wanted to make sure I got fuel this morning in West Virginia. Although I didn't, I didn't look look to see what the IFTA is on West Virginia versus uh, Indiana. It's probably a significant difference, but I feel like I got the fuel for way cheaper than 575s. Man, is everyone shutting down early these days? I feel like that parking's almost full, and it's uh, you know it's not even like not even six o'clock yet. Not even six o'clock yet. All right, we got some openings. Never mind. We, we're good. We're good. We are good. But uh, talking to my buddies out in California and my brother, and you guys are getting some rain out there in California. That's unusual. They're asking me what the weather's like out here. I'm like, it's it's awesome. It's like. You know, mid 50s, upper 50s, sunny with a little bit of clouds, like, like chilling. It's good, good weather, awesome weather. And uh, yeah, they're they're over there just getting uh, getting getting some significant rain over there. But we just traded. We just traded uh, weather for a little bit because our uh, our winter will be here very soon. <laughs> uh, my buddy uh, is going up the grapevine tonight, and he was saying that it's supposed to snow up on top of the grapevine tonight. So they're getting. Getting a decent, you know, a decent little uh, storm up there, down there, over there, wherever they are. All right, I'll get this thing backed in and straightened out. Me and my stinking diagonal parking spots never do well with diagonal parking spots. But uh, I'll get it in here and then we'll close out this video. Oh, did I ever do the numbers? I don't think I did. I promised you guys numbers and then they loaded me so quick over there that I didn't get a chance to do anything. All right, we'll do that next and then, and then we'll close out the video. Sound good? All right. All right. Um, Let's close out this video real quick. Um, so basically, last Tuesday was uh, November 1st, and uh, after spending Halloween with my family, I took a load out to um, uh, Arkansas, and uh, we took that load out there, and it delivered on uh, Wednesday, like middle of the day, out there in... Um, I keep wanting to say Russellville, Arkansas, but it was the town that Clarksville, Clarksville, Arkansas. 
and then uh, and then we picked up. So that was Wednesday at noon, and then we picked up the following day, like middle of the day. So we didn't get another load on the truck until Wednesday. So we, or I mean, I'm sorry, Thursday. So it was it was kind of a weird setup where I picked up a load Tuesday morning, didn't deliver until Wednesday afternoon, and then I didn't get another load on the truck until Thursday. So it was kind of a weird thing, and um, but I ended up grabbing that load and uh, bringing it home for the weekend. So I got the weekend off again, so I, I only worked Tuesday to Friday night, so it was like three days. And I left out on Sunday afternoon. We got over there, we made our first delivery in Virginia, and then uh, this morning we made our delivery up in uh, Pennsylvania. So that was kind of what I'm gonna call a week even though it was eight days I got a weekend in the middle of that eight days so I'm just gonna call it a week um, because that's how I roll because it's my channel and I can do what I want it's my channel I can do what I want okay um, so uh, all of that going out to Arkansas and then bringing the two drop load back uh, paid 6200 now mind you there's there should be should be a $300 layover approved for the the load I just did uh, but I submitted it today so we'll it should get approved either today or tomorrow um, and then it'll add $300 on to the rate but as of now I'm only gonna count what I know for sure which is um, that that was $6,200 uh, for that kind of week quote-unquote and uh, we did just over 2,000 miles it's like 2012 miles as we sat at the at the um, uh, the receiver the last the second drop so that comes out of 308 per mile so we did okay and it got us um, home for the weekend and got us uh, to a place where I, I was getting the whole idea was to start getting towards Chicago so that I could start getting towards Wisconsin so that I could get to a load that I booked for this Friday so uh, that's still the plan and that's what we're gonna be doing um, and uh, we'll, 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 we'll talk about tomorrow's little tomorrow, but just to give you a little preview, uh, we are gonna wake up early and uh, hit the road, and then we've got uh, two picks to make tomorrow. So we can make a delivery at 8 a.m., and then we've got a pick at um, 11, and then a pick at five, I believe, three or five, something like that, uh, in Chicago, and then in um, Joliet, I believe. And then, uh, and then from there, we're gonna go to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. So that's the plan for tomorrow. And um, you know, we're gonna do another sleeper split. So I'm gonna go get in the sleeper right now. We'll leave out of here uh, whatever time we need to in the morning to get to our appointment. And then uh, at some point tomorrow, I'm sure I'll have a two or three hour period that I'll be able to take off duty. It'll get me some more hours back for the afternoon and then I can start my drive to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And we'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll, we'll get, pretty good uh, I, the, the, the sleep breath split and stopping early and starting early is working for me right now so I'm going to keep on doing it um, I don't like waking up at 1.50 in the morning like I did this morning but uh, it also it worked out so um, yeah I think we might do that again but I got to wrap this video up I'm sure it's getting long I haven't looked at all, all the footage I have but I know it's a lot so we're going to call it a day love you guys peace out see you on the same load tomorrow.